We have a quiz for you. What do you get if you take this device, one aging arthritic Labrador, like the one right here, you get relief. We're gonna have a very interesting Facebook Live for you tonight here on I Love My Dog. Sully has arthritis through several areas, as Mary already mentioned, and not uncommon for a, a guy who's a little bit older who has had an active life, and so we treat Sully for arthritis of his elbow, arthritis of his knees, He's got some arthritis in his back, we treat as well. So um, we're gonna start by um, treating his elbows first since that's the end of the body we have here and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about this. Okay, there's the good patient that normally comes in here. So tell us about that light. Well, the light you're seeing is actually red light. Uh, we use two different wavelengths of light with these LED devices as well as the laser devices. One wavelength is red light, which is the reason you can see it. The other light is what we call near infrared. So you can see that half of the diodes or half of the bulbs are lit up and half are not. The ones that are lit up, those are the ones that are emitting red light, which is obviously visible light. The ones that you cannot see lit up are emitting near infrared light. Uh, we actually find that even though red light and near infrared light helps to create energy within the cells, um, that the near infrared light, or the ones you can't see, actually penetrates into tissues a little bit better. Cold laser therapy is an old term for this, and really the correct term now um, on an international basis is something known as photobiomodulation. If you take that word apart, photo means light, bio means the cells that make up our body, and modulation is affecting the behavior of those cells using light. So that's the reason that the term photobiomodulation is a more accurate description. It was primarily used to treat things such as injuries, arthritis, as you've alluded to. Um, um, those were the biggest applications. Um, the, the number of conditions that we treat are just, it's just expanded tremendously. Light, when you can get it penetrating into an affected tissue, has an anti-inflammatory effect. As we know, almost every disease condition, from arthritis to um, kidney disease to any number of other things um, does is accompanied by inflammation and we know that inflammation although it can be helpful to repair things also can cause swelling and pain and discomfort um, one of our favorite treatments that actually we piloted um, a study about three or four years ago is in treatment of chronic kidney disease which is an extraordinarily common um, problem in cats as well as in dogs. Certainly um, degenerative disc disease or back issues, we're treating Sully's back right now because we know that Sully has some arthritis in his back as well. Uh, traumatic brain injury is I think one we've talked about is has tremendous potential, cons um, especially considering what's going on in sports right now and our awareness of concussions. Um, liver disease is another one that comes to mind. Um, disorders of the eye in the cornea, it will speed up healing of corneal ulcers and also, and also effectively treat inflammatory diseases of the eye. You know, Solly was diagnosed with um, hip dysplasia and arthritis of his hips, and I remember you coming here, we spoke on the phone, and you mentioned that the options had been given total hip replacements or chronic treatment with non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Um, that's sort of the typical treatment. Uh, chronic treatment of, of anti-inflammatories can have some potential side effects, such as liver disease and kidney disease and that. In our practice, we treat almost all arthritic conditions at this point in time with light therapy. Very, very rarely do we use um, chronic anti-inflammatories. We had one 10-month-old Labrador, I might have told you about this, 10-month-old yellow lab, who was given basically um, three to four weeks to live um, because he had nearly end-stage liver disease. And um, I wish I could show you the photo of him a year later who's overweight, fat and lazy as we now say. Um, he still has some liver compromise, um, but the owner can't thank us enough for bringing him back. So treatment of things such as chronic liver disease. Um, on the human side, we're working, I'm working on a study right now, treating peripheral neuropathy, which is a huge problem with people. Right? My brother has the neuropathy, and yet he declares now since, um, since he is treated with laser, he's, he claims he's about 80 to 90 percent um, without symptoms. But this laser unit, which is a, um, this is a company out of the UK called Thor Laser, or Thor Photomedicine, um, this, this is the laser probe, and this is what's called a Class 3B laser. This one you can hold in one place, no concern as far as burns or anything else. Um, there are many of the lasers that are out there, and still many companies still selling Class 4 lasers. Class 4 lasers, you have to be very careful, because in fact they can burn. 
We used to think that the higher, the deeper, the denser, the better, and now we find out that this is one of those times where less is in fact oftentimes more. This is not about belief, this is science. I'm really a hardcore science person, and probably one of the reasons that the kidney disease excites me so much is it's, it's one thing, you, know, you telling me that after three treatments, Solly was taking his hikes again, and I think that that's great, and don't get me wrong, that's really important information. But with things such as kidney disease and liver disease, when we can look at numbers, and we can see those numbers improve over time, that's the type of thing where I say, you know, this is not about belief, this is about just in black and white numbers. This works in primarily for one reason, and that reason is, is that, that cells that are under stress, such as a damaged cell, an injured cell, cell, a chronically inflamed cell, cells under stress quit producing something called ATP. And those biology students out there know that may remember ATP is sort of the energy of the cell. Um, cells that are under stress quit producing that. The only way that we know to kind of jumpstart the cells is by shining light on the area that's effective. So that in fact, if we can get light to the cells that are under trauma, under oxidative stress, we can basically restart that chain within a matter of minutes. And once we restart that chain, those cells can produce ATP. ATP is what produces the energy for all the building blocks in the body, um, and everything goes forward. The people that make this, um, this unit actually, um, Thor Photomedicine, they've got, uh, they've got a, a website and there's a regular blog and you can read about something they call Pet Thor, which is the, sort of the division they use for selling, a, um, um, for selling um, some of the veterinary instrumentation. I think I've probably got a testimonial on it. But we integrate that so that if, for example, a patient comes in and has a totally torn um, ACL, we know that if we pre-treat for surgery, as well as post-treating, that that dog is gonna be weight-bearing sooner, is gonna recover more quickly, and it's just gonna have a much better result than if we didn't use it. I have noticed that on some of the um, animal insurance policies. I was just kind of reviewing some of them, and now some of them are starting to cover oh, yeah. laser treatments. Yeah. yeah, they will. And, and you, you know, it's in their best interest. You, one of the questions was about a luxating patella. If you repair a luxating patella, depending upon where you are in the country, it's probably anywhere from $1,000 for surgery on up. In the meantime, um, it can be, you can treat with laser therapy in, in a non-surgical luxating patella, and within a matter of five or six treatments, that can be the end of the story. So we have another unit here um, by this company that's a battery-operated unit. This is sort of their uh, most current unit right now. Um, this is what I referred to before as the, the LED cluster. There's 69 diodes, and I'll turn it on just for a brief second again. Um, and we, you see it's flashing, and that's what we call the frequency, the rate at with which it flashes. And you know, we've had these we've had these dogs come in here that could barely walk on their back legs, and they were facing either very expensive surgery, or euthanasia, or carts. And within sometimes as few as three or four treatments, they're up walking again.